what you see behind us uh, is an evil thing today. We do have breaking news this afternoon. At least four people have been killed and nine have been injured in a school shooting at a Georgia high school about 50 miles northeast of Atlanta. Welcome to Crem2 News at noon. I'm Laura Papetti. That just came in a few moments ago and it was Sheriff Judd Smith in front of Appalachie High School. Details are somewhat limited right now, but here is what we know so far. According to the Barrow County Sheriff's Office in Georgia, a suspect is in custody at this point, and students who took shelter in the football stadium are working on reuniting now with their families. Law enforcement officers responded to the high school shortly before 1030 this morning after reports of an active shooting prompted a lockdown. The students described the moments during the chaos as shots rang out. Uh, we heard shots. The teacher ran, slammed the door, made us all go in the corner. We heard like the, uh, the teachers and everything in the hallways, the police. We heard like the shooting and then we heard that they ran away. And then after a while, they came and took us out to the football field. And y'all have been out there since? Yeah, we've been out there for like three hours. Dozens of officers are on the ground alongside ambulances. You can see there's a medic helicopter. At least one person was loaded into the helicopter on a stretcher. And again, this is sad news coming out of uh, an area outside of Georgia where at least four people have been killed, potentially nine injured at this moment. We don't know what led up to the shooting. The FBI is responding to the school, but as you imagine, just uh, a lot of fear and panic there as they continue uh, to reunite kids with their families and do the investigation. This is, of course, a developing story, so we'll keep you updated on air and, of course, online at creme.com.